This is another really beautiful case because it demonstrates some of the beauty of pathology, or at least theoretically. Here's a tumor. You could see instantly two things, even at low power. There's a lot of fat in it, not only at the edge, but inside of it. And the tumor also has these spaces filled with what look like bright red blood cells. And it's because they are bright red blood cells. So a prominent part of this tumor is the fact that it's vascular. In other words, it's a tumor of endothelium, which these cells are, as well as the connective tissue that surrounds and supports the endothelium. But these are not normal blood vessels. They are haphazard. Another thing that you could see is that there are areas like this that have fat or the lipo part of it. And if you look, they look exactly like normal fat cells. Sometimes you could see these little fatty septae. And if you're lucky, maybe you'll see some little tiny displaced nucleus of a fat. None of this looks malignant, does it? And therefore, if you see a benign tumor that is composed of fat and blood vessels, why not call it a lipohemangioma, as long as it was benign? If any part of it was malignant, you'd probably want to throw the word sarcoma in there somewhere. These can occur in many places of the soft tissue. And uh, this is the reason why I really like this case is because uh, it can show you that even pathology has some logic in it. If you see benign fat and benign blood vessels in a benign looking tumor, call it a lipohemangioma. Thank you very much.